Sorry, I'm late. No, no, it's fine. It's just been an hour and a half. My meeting ran over. No, no, honestly, it's fine. We're revamping the office, getting rid of that antiquated filing system. I don't really kind of worry about that stuff. I just have a new feel for everything in the office is. Mm, yeah. Well, there's going to be a new filing system up on the second floor. But don't worry, you'll get used to it. What's the matter? It's just a bit warm in here. Mm. <laughs> so is this where you have all your business meetings? Uh, yeah, it's uh, close to the office, you know. The hostess is cute, yeah. Don't you like it? Yeah, it's fine. Gives a new meaning to the word dive, but it is convenient. You gotta appreciate all the thick smoke though, you know. It's, uh, you don't have to wear as much makeup. Mm. Tequila, please. So, um, Betty, um, Betty Ann, uh, Mr. Gerald, can I call you that? Tell me about yourself. Do you have a boyfriend? Is this why you brought me here? No, oh, look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that, you know. And tell me about your hobbies. Uh, I. I have a meeting in 15 minutes. Look, I shouldn't have brought up your personal life. I mean, your marital status is none of my business. I mean, you can be divorced, you can be widowed, and maybe your husband committed suicide. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I believe that, actually. <laughs> Look, Mr. Groover hired me to streamline the office, and that is what's going to happen. Well, you know what I say? If it's not broke, then don't fix it. You do know that there's a reason that North Coast has dropped out of the top five insurance companies. There is way too much duplication. Not in my office. There isn't one office that couldn't benefit from being more economically and better run, including yours, in fact. I'm not sure that the best thing for North Coast wouldn't be to have just one central unit and for all the files to be farmed out privately. Could we uh, maybe go for a drink sometime and discuss this? We are having a drink. You don't know what you're talking about. You came in like a steamroller today. Yeah, and I think you've been threatened by me ever since the first day I walked in. Firstly, because I'm an efficiency expert, and secondly, because I'm some challenge to your little estate within a state thing. And thirdly, because I'm not some little wind-up doll that you can just pinch or, or grope at the water cooler. I'm smarter than you, I'm faster than you, and I can see right through you. You should be threatened by me. Threatened by you? You know, it really is amazing, as a female executive, the amount of men you meet that have a really fragile masculinity. Masculinity? You make one more crack about my religion. <laughs> Look, I I'm gonna have to go. Well, oh, you know, but all your highfalutin talk about streamlining the office. Do you know what you need? There's a good roll in the hay. <laughs> you wouldn't even know which end is up. But you wouldn't have been hard to tell. Yeah. You know what? We probably shouldn't leave together. People might think we're together. Oh, do I look like an organ grinder? Nope. Just an organ.